Hey there everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. Hope you're having a good one. I am. Beautiful day out. Been a great day all around. Back here in my Cleveland. Uh, I think this is one of those ships that's going to sit next to my St. Louis as a ship I'm going to keep for its fun factor. So when I'm having bad games, I can just jump into it and derp around and just have a good time because that's what this ship gives you, a really good time. It is like the night out on the town with your best friends. <laughs> the one thing about this ship is uh, you can, I, th I think, you could easily create a whole series on it. Maybe a couple videos a week of just your exploits in this thing because it just... You kind of can do whatever you want to do, and uh, I noticed that whenever I get into the ship, I just feel like that there's nothing I can't handle. Uh, that's not true, and you'll see that coming up in this video. <laughs> I live the spoil alert. So, yeah, here we go. Domination, and uh, we're matched up, and I'm going to head and cruise this side. I'm with uh, two other St. Louis, or St. Louis, two other Clevelands, and uh, we're just going to work this side and see how it goes, and they're starting to pop up on the radar, and I expected to continue to see them <laughs> pop up on the radar, but they, they really don't. Um, they're kind of scattered around. So here we go. I'm not going to go up the Narrows, not going to do it, that's where you die, that's where ships go to die is in the Narrows. I'd like to ask you, um, my returning subscribers, my returning viewers, uh, someone who is passing by, uh, all of you, I want to ask you a question. Um, you know, the thing about my, what I'm trying to do with my channel here, because there's other YouTubers for these games that I play, they play too. And you can go to them. The thing I've always tried to do for you that was airbrusher was to take the player that wasn't that good or is new and learning and and help them with their tactics and the way they're looking at it. And why are my shots going to the moon? What is up? Did they change the trajectory of these shells uh, in the new patch? 4.1? I mean, really. The... I don't understand. It's, before, I didn't have to lead nearly as much as I'm having to lead now. All my shots are falling way, way behind. Good thing, though, is I got hell of plunging shots if I can just get in there. And, uh, which also means there's going to be different tactics with the uh, ammo. But we'll get back to that. And everybody missed me, so you can go screw off. So my question is to you guys, uh, and what I'm saying is um, to, you know, to get those players that we can do good, like for World of Tanks, get them to where they're competent, competent enough where they watch the map and, you know, understand basic choke points and when to cap, when not to cap. So then they can go to Jingles or they can go to Quickie Baby for the much higher level of play and knowledge and understanding. But to give them the tools that when they get there, they're much more fulfilling and are much more fulfilled and they're just much better able to do it and have a lot more fun. So I want you to tell me things that you might be having a problem with, either in War Thunder, World of Tanks, or World of Warships, because uh, I'll write them down and I'll address them in the next video that because I play you know quite a few games and chances are um, I will I will have an incident or an action that addresses what your concern is what you need help with I can so there I can um, with the example of my video literally show you maybe a different way maybe I did it the same way you did and you died and I died an example and I can go okay you know let's re rewind this I did this and you did that so you know that there's proof there that we could have did this and maybe come up with a different way so there's all those torpedoes 
and I'm finally getting shots on target there's my first I got one then there's nine I love the guns on this on this I almost said tank on this ship just love them because you can put so much hurt out I think it's the reason why they're only 152 millimeter guns is because of the amount of pain you can send down range would be unbelievable with anything bigger I mean can you imagine this thing with 203 millimeter guns it would it would be so OP it'd be ridiculous uh, as it is with 152 it's it's probably the best ship pound for pound in the game I think that's my take on it anyways so I'm watching the map and I'm seeing that the, the other side of the map is getting nailed. I'm watching. You can see I'm kind of moving the camera around. I'm looking at what's over here. Enemy-wise, I'm looking what is is over here as far as ally-wise. Can they handle it? And I make the decision that they can. So I'm looking at it. And I'm watching uh, Red Fro. He's going to go ahead and move over. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and join him. I'm going to head back. So here's what I'm doing is um, let him know I'm coming too. And I'm just going to cut straight across. I'm not going to worry about if I run into that lone destroyer out there or, you know, the battleships. I'm, I just need to get across as fast as I can. And I'm fairly confident that there's going to be nothing between me and the other side uh, enemy-wise that I have to worry about. So I'm just going to go ahead and floor it, and we're going to go charging across. Now the thing with uh, having your asking your questions is, uh, you know, please feel free to do it because uh, I feel I've gotten to the point within uh, YouTube and how I create my videos and my schedule. I put up a video every day. Uh, granted when you know nothing real serious in life happens you know I've missed a few times but normally it's it's either life or technical problems such as internet and I think I got all that stuff figured out so if you could tell me what you know really is bothering you and you need help whether you don't understand and you want to to have a little better knowledge about something a game mechanic or something like that um, that's what I'm here for, and I feel like I've been talking at you guys, and not to you, or not with you. And that's not what I want to do, and I think, you know, after, you know, well after being on here for a year, and, and listening to myself, and just having that consistent run of videos where I've got that consistent run of experience, I came to realize that, um... You know, if I'm just, all I've been doing is talking to you, so if, if you're going to come to somebody who's just going to talk at you, you're not going to stay, you're not going to want to stay, so you're not going to subscribe. And so I kind of realized my mistake, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad I figured it out now, because I really feel I'm, I'm having a great time with, uh, with being a YouTuber, and I plan on staying here and... and I think this is an evolution of my learning, my experiences, realizing the context in which I'm being needs to change. And so, uh, please let me know what you need to do, and I can help you out with that. And if I don't have it in my gameplay, I can search it out and pass that on to you. So, here we are. I've made it back, and there's uh, two of their cruisers and their battleship. One battleship that I can see so far. And so, there, that is, uh, I believe that's a Wyoming. And then behind them was a, uh, another Cleveland destroyer, or not destroyer, uh, cruiser. And I didn't catch what the other cruiser was that was going to port. I didn't get a look at his, his turrets. That's kind of how I can tell the uh, Cleveland when I see it is it's got distinctive turrets for what I've experienced in, in the ship so far. So that's my visual cue. And it kind of sits like a, like a hot rod, you know, the, the rear end's higher in the air than the front. <laughs> and so, you know, it kind of looks like a hot rod as it's cruising along. And so uh, myself and Red Fro are going to work this guy out. And 
this is what I'm talking about teamwork. Uh, Redfro and I were random players on this side. I've, we've never met each other. I have no clue who this guy is. I don't know his experience. I don't know his disposition or his temperament. But we just immediately worked together. Um, he's seen what target I'm firing at. I see what target he's firing at. Firing at, and we've kept it together. Kept the focus fire on that target, and that's really one of the big things in this video that I learned is you know right, right at the end here, um, if you're with a good player, you know it because they start working the tactics with you. So we're gonna kill this uh, this. Cleveland right there and so now the only other threat I got and I am such a hurting unit right now I am not a happy panda as this guy is he's looking at me but I get real lucky I don't know if he's just kind of like a mediocre player or whatever but when you're in a battleship as slow as those turrets turn you needed to have them turning a long time ago the only thing this guy can hit us with and he's pummeling me with his two front turrets. So I set him on fire and I keep him on fire. And uh, yeah, we're just, it's going, it's going and we're just pounding on this guy. So this goes back to uh, me and Renfro working together. There's now the other cruiser who's on the other side of the cap is dropping on him. And we're just laying into this guy and I really need him to turn away if he would be so kind to do that for me because he is just absolutely ripping me up. And now he set me on fire. And so now he's got all his turrets, turrets pointed my way. And if he would turn, I would be so happy that he would do that, which he does. Thank you. Because now all that time he took getting those turrets on me, he's now just took himself right out of the battle. So this is how you take what I think is a Wyoming and, uh, and take it apart. In little pieces by little pieces. And I probably should have been firing uh, armor piercing, but uh, I'll come back to that because of the new firing arc. So there you go, I got the kill. So uh, yeah, I noticed that the firing arc is new on that as I'm getting a lot of, of plunging shots, even kind of at close range. So I don't know, I'm going to have to start working with the uh, ammo again to figure out how it's going to work so I can pass that along to you guys. It, it you know it's different now after the new patch so I'm not gonna get to this guy in time he's moving in that looks like a New York and I'm just kinda cruising along uh, I'm trying to relax cuz that was very intense and as I said he beat my ass and he did uh, he, he did he went down swinging until the very end where he kinda gave up but 103 hits, not bad, and I had a slow start, you saw it. I was not aiming real well, and I wasn't used to the trajectory of my guns. I just, that wasn't working. So I'm kind of happy with the performance I got at the end. I, you know, you learn as you go it, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You Sometimes you got to start slow and not listen to other people complain about it because you'll get your rhythm. Once you get your rhythm, you're on. And so now I'm kind of settled in and now I'm just ready to cruise over this way. They got a cruiser and a destroyer. There's the destroyer and my shots are not even going to make it to him before this game ends. So I want to thank you for joining me. Please hit the like, share, and please subscribe. I'll see you back, my friends. Have a good day. Until next time.